Hello again. Uh, making another video for the second day. I mean the same day. This is my Bon Tempe B4 home organ. Now this actually plays the sound. The air spins up in this little turbine here and blows the wind through different holes which release when you press the right key or when you uh, well press one of these too. This is supposed to be more like I think an accordion on the end of the piano. Now these sounds I do not like. They kind of if you press two of them at once this is perfect for emulating car horns. I've never heard a better car horn sound than this organ. It's perfect. Because it's basically blowing air through it. It's just like a horn, but whatever. Now this accordion little section, although it's small, this part is really, really fun. I call it the accordion section. This is what I like to call it. This is what it sounds like. So, what I did to this thing was, well, I bought this. I thought, okay, maybe this is an electronic instrument I can record with this, but no. Because it was wind powered, but with electricity. So, what I did was, ta-da, I added an output. But how can I do that on a wind powered instrument? Well, I did something wacky. I plugged in a little piezo element right here. And it's basically kind of like a, a, a weird contact mic, a primitive contact mic. And uh, you know, it usually. Usually they're used for picking up sounds of vibration, but it can also pick up other sounds, but this actual wind vibrating vibrates through the plastic and you can hear it. Now I put it right here for a reason, because I really only want, cared about recording these. Now it will record all these too, but they'll get more faint as they go out. Like it will record them in lower volumes as they get further away from this spot. But you won't really want to record these anyways unless you're doing a car horn sample that you're creating for some reason. But uh, this part's cool. Now you can hear it running. It does make noise. So the bad thing about this is either going to live with that background noise. You might think it's cool. It might add a character to your song. I don't know if you do some interesting music. But uh, yeah. But you can always uh, take that out in, in the studio afterwards. But that'll be a lot of mastering. But never before have I seen someone do this to one of these wind-powered organs actually make it where you can record it physically with a line output. So let's hear it. Now you're going to hear it coming out of here. There's no way to cancel this while that's on. There's no way. You have to hear them both at once. So I'm going to let you hear here first. Well, let's turn down, let's turn down this. All right. OK. First, I'll let you hear it here. Now, make sure you're not hitting this or resting on this or have anything on this because it'll vibrate and this will pick it up and it'll be really annoying. You want to make sure this is pressed down as firm as it can so it doesn't vibrate. So let's hear it normally. Now you know why I call it an accordion. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, now let's turn on our little speaker over here. Now this isn't the best amp. I got this for 10 bucks. That's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, let's put this up a little bit. Okay, that should be good. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this over here so it's not picking up too much of the other one. Let's just uh, set you right here. And I'll get ready to. No, that's too close. Get you a little bit further away. Alright, now listen. I'm going to go play. Now I'm going to play down the keys starting from 1 all the way to 15. You'll hear it get fainter as it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now there's no way to not hear those vibration noises, they're just part of it. It's the only way you're going to actually get this where you can record it. So you're going to have to live with that. But you will have the only Bo-Tempe air organ with a line output mod to it. So that's pretty cool though in itself. <laughs>